Hey everybody, uh, this is my 75 gallon uh, American Cichlid community and we'll start down here on the bottom here and that's a turquoise severum and we got a rock keel severum next to him. I just do a little bit of food in there to get everybody moving around. So I especially wanted you guys to see these little cats. These are Synodonis lucipinus. Um, for anybody that already knows my other uh, tanks, you guys already know I like Synodonis cats. I have Petricolas, Multipunctatus, and a feather fin. So when I saw these guys, I went ahead and added them. And I got five of those little guys in there. And back there we have a yellow convict. And he's, come on guys. I'll come back to him when he comes out a little bit. But yeah, my Severums are doing really well. And back in that cave back there we have an electric blue Jack Dempsey. He's about a year old now and he's a, uh, I don't know, he's just not, he's healthy, but he just doesn't seem like he's with it all the time. But he likes to hang out in that cave and nobody bothers him, so it's a, uh, it's a good chill tank for him to be in. But yeah, most of the fish I have I got as little juveniles. I did get this rod kill. He was turned into one of my LFSs. And I've had him for a while and he's not getting much larger. So I think he was just turned in because he was a, possibly a runt or just a, just a small one. He's a pretty little fish though. So I don't mind that he's not gonna get a whole lot bigger. And then down there we've got a calico bristle nose. Must be hiding right now, but I have a keyhole cichlid in here as well. Oops. Not sure where he's at. But he's pretty small still, so he can hide in the uh, plants pretty easily. And I also have one more fish in here. I've got a uh, striped Raphael catfish. And this piece of driftwood right here is hollowed out. And that's pretty much his home. And I actually made that hole in the side a little bit bigger. Cause he's big enough to the point now where he was about getting stuck trying to get in and out of that piece of wood. But I just love watching those little cats going around. And these guys are pretty tiny, and I was worried at first about putting them in here, but no one's bothering them at all. And right now I've got, I'll be getting a clip out of uh, my other 125 that I set up. I've got an Oscar in there now. And then I also have a 55 set up that's kind of a, it's my bully tank right now. I've got an electric blue Acara that killed a Salvini. I have a gold Somme that I was, that was trying to attack my new Oscar. And I have a green Severum that was trying to attack my new Oscar. So those guys are all together and they actually get along for some reason. But those, all the bullies are together in their own tank right now. 
but the colors on that little rock killer are just starting to come out really nice, even though he's pretty small. I was hoping the jack would come out so you could see him. He's he has really nice colors to him, but you can tell he's he's always like breathing hard. Uh, but my uh, water parameters are spot on. Uh, lots of oxygen in the water. Um, all the other fish are fine. He's just he's like a little old man, even though he's a year old. <laughs> Oh, there's my keyhole. He came out now. It's kind of an odd mix of fish. Um, the yellow convict's sort of a pain in the butt. He likes to mess with the keyhole. But the way all my other tanks are set up right now, these guys kind of didn't fit in with anybody else. So these guys are kind of together right now. <laughs> But luckily the rock killer and my turquoise are getting along. Now, those are the two I was worried about the most. And I thought I was done setting up tanks, but I now have a tank full of babies. And I'll talk about those on my next clip though. <laughs> um, anyway guys, thanks for watching and peace out.